friends, I'm Miss Alyssa. Hey guys, it's Miss Annabeth. Hey friends, it's Miss Christine. Hey friends, it's Miss Grace. Welcome to Stories in Motion. Hey guys, welcome. So every week we are going to start off with this song called Movin' and Shakin'. And this song was written by our very own Miss Alyssa. How about it? So this song is gonna work on our cross lateral movements, which is basically just moving our arms from one side and then sweeping them across our body to the other side. You'll get it in no time. So when we say ready in the song, you're gonna start on one side and you're gonna clap eight times and then you're going to switch sides across your body and you're going to clap another eight times and then we're going to go four four two two and then one 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 you ready let's get going <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about some folks that we absolutely adore. Grandparents! So this morning, I'm going to read to you this book called A Morning with Grandpa by Sylvia Liu with pictures by Christina Forche. Now, as I read this book, I will appear and we'll be doing some of the yoga poses that they do in this book. So please, join me. Let's read a book together called A Morning with Grandpa by Sylvia Liu and illustrations by Christina Forche. May May watched Grandpa dance slowly among the flowers in the garden. He moved like a giant bird stalking through a marsh. His arms swayed like reeds in the wind. What are you doing, Gong Gong? asked May May. I am practicing Tai Chi, said Gong Gong. This is a form called White Crane Spreading Its Wings. What's Tai Chi? asked Mei Mei. Tai Chi is a martial art that sends good energy through your body. The energy is called Chi, explained Gong Gong. Martial art, said Mei Mei, bouncing up and down. I can do karate. Hiya! Tai Chi isn't that kind of martial art said Gong Gong. I will teach you. This is pick up the needle from the sea bottom. In one smooth motion, Gong Gong stepped back, bent over, and swept one arm low. He moved like seaweed brushing the ocean floor. Now you try, said Gong Gong. Mei Mei stepped back like a young frog trying out new legs. She hopped and bopped and bumped into Grandpa. How was that, Gong Gong? asked Mei Mei. Not quite right, Gong Gong replied. Try to move more slowly and breathe in deeply. Then breathe out. 
I'm very good at breathing, said May May. I can blow you down to the ground. Whoosh! Let's try something else, said Gong Gong. This is called cloud hands. Gong Gong stepped from side to side and carefully moved his arms back and forth. He was a warm summer breeze gently blowing through the trees. May May was a frisky fall wind tumbling among the leaves. Slow down, said Gong Gong. Use your breath to move the energy around your body. Energy moves around my body all by itself, said May May. May May twirled like a helicopter seed flying down from a maple tree. Very nice, May May, said Gong Gong. Now let's try play the lute. Gong Gong rocked backward and then forward. One arm went up while the other came down. He was a musician serenading the sunflowers. May May was a rock star playing guitar for the daisies. Gong Gong conducted a quiet symphony. May May drummed the earth with her hands and feet. How am I doing, Gong Gong? Perfect, May May. Now that I'm really good at Tai Chi, it's my turn to teach you something new," said May May. "We learned how to do yoga in school." "Yoga? That's very hard, isn't it?" asked Gong Gong. "It's not hard, Gong Gong. Yoga makes you strong," said May May, flexing her muscles. "Just copy me," said May May. "Let's do downward dog. Woof, woof." May May planted her hands and feet on the ground and shaped her body into an upside down letter V. She stood like a guard dog, strong and steady. I'm not sure I can do that," said Gong Gong. "You can do it, Gong Gong. Give it a try," said May May. Gong Gong tried to bend into a V shape too. He wobbled like an old dog, creaky at the knees. Now let's try the cat," said May May. Getting on her hands and knees, she arched her back like a kitten ready to play. This looks easier. I will give it a try," said Gong Gong. On his hands and knees, Gong Gong hunched his back to the sky. Meow! He yowled like a startled cat. How about we try the mermaid? May May asked. She sat with one leg bent behind her and the other leg folded in front. One hand rested on her back foot, and the other hand lifted to the sky. May May was a creature of the deep sea, guarding treasures. Are you sure it's not called the pretzel? Asked Gong Gong. That looks complicated. Try it, said May May. Gong Gong twisted his leg this way and that, and almost fell over. He was a fish in the water, trying to escape a dangling hook. I'm not made for the sea, said Gong Gong. May May helped her grandpa to his feet. Gong Gong, I know you can do yoga," said May May. "Let me think. Oh, I know. Can you be a tree? A tree? I love trees," said Gong Gong. "Me too," said May May. "They're the best. Let's be trees." May May lifted her leg and stretched her arms like branches reaching high to the sky. Her tree wobbled and bent to one side. Grandpa slid his leg up and raised his branches too. His tree leaned the other way. May May and Gong Gong were two royal palms swaying in the wind. How did I do, May May? Perfect, Gong Gong. The end. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink a do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Skin a rink a dink a dink, skin a rink. Ah. Uh -huh.
hands up high. Now give a big sigh. <sighs> Story time's over. Now say goodbye. Hey friends, thank you so much for tuning in this week as we talked about awesome grandparents. Be sure to tune in next week as we show stories featuring Spanish. Bye! This story time is brought to you by the Hoover Public Library.